Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you decided to join me on today. So um, I know that it's been a while since I have posted. Um, I have been so busy with my oldest daughter. She graduated from high school this year and um, I have just been focused on making sure she had everything that she needed, walking across the stage and taking care of her graduation party. So I've been really busy and have not been able to post um, like I, I usually would, but I am back and so glad that you decided to join me on today. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit, hit the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up and like this video as well as hit the bell icon below the video so that you can get an alert every time that I post and you can stay up to date with um, what's new with me. Um, so what I'm going to be sharing with you today is one of the items that I uh, did a DIY on for the graduation party. Um, I have a few items to share with you and they will come along later. I did not get a chance to video everything because I was just so busy and there, were, there was a lot going on in my house that um, the noise level just, you know, did not work with videoing. So, um, I'm going to share this with you today. I hope you enjoy it. And thanks again for joining me. Again, make sure you subscribe. And here we go. I used this cardboard roll from a package of tool that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, I saved two of these rolls for this project as well as this foam board that I purchased from Walmart. I went ahead and spray painted this roll with this Krylon full metallic gold paint as well as the cardboard roll. For this project, I will also be using my glue gun, of course glue sticks, scissors, I have this Jaguar print ribbon that I purchased from Walmart, as well as some of my leftover gold beads. I will take this ribbon and apply it to the perimeter of the board. And I'm just going to circle this around and go around the entire foam until the, uh, the portion that has not been painted is completely covered. This sweet stand or candy stand is for my daughter's graduation party um, buffet table and their mascot is the Jaguar. That's why I am using this um, animal print ribbon. Just going to go all the way around until it is
this is what it looks like with the ribbon attached. You know, this is a very simple project. Um, however, it does add some dimension and texture to the buffet table, um, the candy buffet table. And I wanted to, um, you know, just add some detail pertaining to my daughter's school um, because she was very active um, in the band as a drum major. So I wanted to make sure that their mascot and some of the school colors uh, were used in the details of the event. So here I am now adding some of the gold beads. And if you can remember from uh, some of my other projects, I have used these gold beads a lot. Um, I continue to use them because I had a lot of them and don't like wasting anything. So um, I chose to use them again. So I'm going to take them all the way around uh, the circle and We'll just keep going until we're all the way around. So now we're right at the end of applying our beading. Um, one of the strands almost went all the way around and I ended up needing to cut a small piece from another strand, about three beads off of another strand to close the gap. So this is what it looks like with the beading added. And I really like it, think it will add a lot to the table. I think I am going to apply some at the bottom as well. Please continue to watch just to see what I have decided to do. So now we're going to add our roll. Remember this came from a roll of tool that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. You can use any roll here. Um, I like this one because it had the, um, the wider circle at the ends of each, at each end of the roll. So I'm just hot gluing this on to the phone.
And what you see me doing here is I added a little bit uh, more hot glue. I saw a couple of areas that were not secured well. I am also going to go around the roll with the rest of the beading that I have. I'm just going to circle around until I cover the entire roll. Now I'm almost at the end of applying the beading. Um, it would have been much easier to apply the beading prior to attaching the roll to the foam. Um, however, I was just, uh, you know, doing this as I go. I was not completely sure what type of embellishment I was going to add, and you know, just decided to add the beading um, once I had the roll applied. It still worked out, um, however, if I do this again, I will add the beading first. So that's what it looks like with the beading on the roll, as well as on the form, on the foam. like how it's turning out um it could possibly be a little bit taller but i do like how it's turning out i did decide to go ahead and add the beading to the bottom portion which you will see towards the end of this video so here's the finished product i hope you like it it looked very well on the buffet table So here's the finished product. I decided to use the stand to display some of the candy apples and chocolate covered Oreos. I hope you like it and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like as well as share with others. Until next time, I'll see you soon.